Okay, and then moving down, we're going to be multiplying by one hundredth. And it says, think about what it means to take one hundredth of another part. Number 30 is one hundredth times four. And first, we're going to think about money. What is one hundredth of one? And then what is one hundredth of four? Well, starting off with um, our digit four here, they're saying to um, let's just break four apart into ones. And let's talk about that in currency. A one dollar bill, if we're if we are um, trying to figure out what is one hundredth of one or a one dollar bill, we would exchange it for pennies and we would come up with 100 pennies and we would pick out one penny from that pile. So one cent is worth um, one hundredth of a dollar. But in this case, we have four ones or four one dollar bills. Well, we would do the same four different times. We would do um, take the other one dollar bill, exchange it for pennies, take out one penny out of the hundred for that second dollar bill. We would do it for the other dollar bill and the other dollar bill, a total of four pennies or four cents. One hundredth of four is four hundredths or four hundredths in this case of a dollar. Let's put it in our to place value chart and let's see if it follows along with our shifting patterns. So we have our four in our first row. Do you have that? And we know when we multiply by one hundredth, we are going to the right how many times? Two. This four is going to go from the one spot to the one, two hundredths. And that's our only digit, so we're going to add in the zeros to hold their place values all the way to the ones. And we have four hundredths here as well, and that's what we were we got when we were talking about money. One hundredth times four is equal to four hundredths. Go ahead and add that into your book nice and small. Go ahead and erase your place value chart, and let's take a look at number 31 and place the situation into our place value chart. One hundredth times four tenths, then think what is one hundredth of one tenth, and then what is one hundredth of four tenths. First step for our place value chart, we're going to place the other factor that we're multiplying. We know that we can use shifting patterns, shifting um, to when we multiply one hundredth. So we're going to place this four hundredths, sorry, four tenths into our first row. And following the same pattern, how many places do we move to the right for um, when we're multiplying by one hundredths? Two place values. The four is going to move from the tenths, and we'll count one, two place values and end up in what place value? The thousandths. And then we're going to add in our zeros all the way to the ones, since that's our only digit. And we arrive at our answer of four thousandths. Go ahead and neatly put that into your book, zero decimal zero zero four. Number 32 says, how many places did the four shift each time you multiplied? How many times? Two times. And in which direction, left or right? Oh, I hope you got this. We are shifting to the right people. Digits are getting smaller going this direction, which is right. And then it says, look at your answers. What pattern do you see in the number of decimal places in the products? How is it related to the number of places in the two factors? Okay, so let's take a look at our problem for number 30. One hundredths times four, Let's underline the decimal places. So for one hundredth, there is one, two. Is there any decimal places for the number four? No, four ones, the decimal falls after it. It's after it, it is a whole number. There's no decimal places. So in total, we have a total of two decimal places for both factors. How many decimal places do we have in our product to four hundredths? Let's underline one, two, two decimal places. Let's do the same thing for number 31. How many decimal places are there in both our factors? Let's underline one hundredths, 
one, two, four tenths. How many decimal places are there for four tenths, everyone? One, which brings us to a total then. We have to get the total for both factors. Two plus one decimal place gives us a total of three decimal places. How many decimal places are in our product of four thousandths? Let's count. One, two, three. Three places after the decimal gives us three decimal places. What pattern do you see? It's the same pattern that we saw for number 29. The number of decimal places in the product is the same as the total number of decimal places in the factors. Two decimal places, two decimal places. Three decimal places, three decimal places. They have to be the same. We're gonna write out that rule again. The number, go ahead and write it in with me. The number of decimal places in the product is the same as the total number of decimal places in the factors. We underline, count for both factors, underline the product, that needs to be the same number. Do you have this in your book? The number of decimal places in the product is the same as the number of, sorry, the same as the total number of decimal places in the factors.